Here we're going to cover cleaning and oiling the machine, starting with the gearbox and then moving on to the uh, ways and the moving parts. First, you'll need to remove the drain plug, which I think this is an 8mm Allen wrench. It might be a 6. I'm pretty sure it's 8, though. And then you'll need something to catch the, the oil in. I'm using the bottom couple inches of a one-gallon jug of antifreeze. Uh, this actually had water in it, but I just wiped it out and cut it so it would be able to slide underneath the uh, underneath the front there. There's only going to be about a half of a quart of oil coming out. It's probably less than that, a third of a quart. If you want to drain more than that, you need to take the front of the lathe apart. But for my purposes, I'm just going to drain it out this way, and I'll probably actually drain it, uh, you know, maybe every couple of months or something in the beginning. You can see some oil still left in there. And then this side is where you're going to fill it. Now, I know a lot of you are going to throw a fit about this, but I'm using conventional 30-weight uh, non-detergent oil. I know that you're supposed to use the mobile DTE medium heavy or heavy medium or whatever it's called. I can only get it locally in five gallon pails at about 90 bucks and I'm not willing to buy that much since this takes less than a half a quart to fill. I know that I can order it on Enco. I've seen people talking online about uh, getting a gallon from Enco for about $20 and that's, that's what I'll do eventually. But for the first little while, I think this is going to be fine. I'm not saying that you should do this or that this is even a good idea, but personally, I feel like it's going to be fine. So it's what I'm going with. You can see a little bit of uh, metallic coloration in the bottom of this uh, paper towel that I used as a filter. And I'm pointing out a couple of flecks of debris. I don't know if you can actually see them. And then of course there's that paint that fell out of the drain hole. Uh, the real story is in the bottom of this jug, and after I drain the oil out, you can see there's uh, a line of very fine metallic particles, which there's probably even more in the bottom of the machine. Uh, this is probably typical break-in wear. I would be nervous if I saw giant chips or flakes, although those could possibly be in the bottom of the gearbox. I doubt it since the machine didn't seem to make any you know, funny noises or anything when I was breaking it in, but I think that amount is, uh, is reasonable, so I'm not too worried. I didn't measure how much oil came out, but that's the black uh, stuff that we drained, and it's probably, I'm sure it's, like I say, less than half of a quart. I, you can measure yours and then uh, let the world know. We, we would appreciate that. Anyway, here's the cleanup. Uh, the manual says you can use WD-40, and I know guys online have done the same thing. I'm using brake cleaner. I like it because it doesn't leave any kind of film or uh, any residue. The problem is, is because it cleans the metal so, where, so well, you're going to want to cover it right away with either something like WD-40 or oil or you know whatever you've got. Now, I didn't really disassemble my lathe. All I did was take apart the tool post, and that was just because it was so sticky, I couldn't really spin it. So eventually, I'll probably tear down the carriage and uh, the cross slide and everything and get, clean it very well and oil it up. But just doing what I did made it work extremely well. I was shocked at how how nicely everything ran after just uh, you know getting that Cosmoline out of there and then oiling it with what I know is going to, again, give some of you diaper rash. This is 90 weight gear oil. I know that I'm supposed to use Mobile Vectra number one or number two, I can't remember, but again, I can only get it locally in five gallon pels for 80 or $90, and I'm not willing to buy that much. So uh, this can also be ordered from Enco in gallon jugs, but 90 weight gear oil is gonna do the job for me, and it actually worked extremely well. I, I was shocked at how, how nicely everything moves. I cleaned the uh, uh, face plate in my parts washer here, but the two chucks, I just wiped them down and then uh, coated them with a light coating of oil as well. Every, that's the same thing I'm doing here with all the accessories, so not, not very exciting, but anyway, that pretty much covers it, so uh, thanks for checking out this video. There's going to be more to come. I plan on doing uh, not only some videos about basic turning and threading as I learn, but also just kind of nuances of the machine that I figure out along the way. If you have any questions, post below, and uh, we'll see you next time.